Welcome back to my channel. Today I made two outside fall signs. Um, I used the first one I got from the Dollar Tree. It is the Beware sign in the Halloween section. And I don't show it, but I took it outside and I sanded off that glitter off the Beware on the back. Just because I didn't want glitter going everywhere while I was trying to work on my project. Uh, again today, I'm not sure what happened with my camera, but it is in this short little section again and I will try to work on making sure it's full screen next time. I know I said that last time but here I am again doing it once more. <laughs> so anyway, uh, to get started I painted this sign on the back in Waverly White Chalk Paint because it is a lot thicker and you don't have to put as many coats. But I'm pretty sure I put two coats on this just to give it nice coverage and it uh, covered it pretty well with two. Next, I took the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, which is just black, and I just took it and drug it along the sides, dry brushing it on to give it more of an aged look. And I did the same thing here in just a minute with Waverly chalk paint in the color Peacock, because I wanted to have um, more than just one color going through, and I didn't exactly cover the center all of the way. I wanted it to kind of have a bordered look in the center. And so that's why I just kind of drug it along the edges. And the color Peacock is like a blue color and it's really pretty. And I've been using it a lot lately because I just really like it. So you, you don't have to do this step if you want to make one that looks similar. Or you can use orange, you can use tan, you can use green, red. It's just endless when it comes to fall. There's so many pretty colors you can use. And I would just suggest using whatever color suits your fancy. So I did the same thing with the peacock as I did with the black. And once I got everything the way I wanted it, I sanded it down so that it would blend in a lot better. And then I took some paint sticks. I had one from Lowe's and one from Walmart, go figure. I, <laughs> apparently, I, I don't know. It's just what I had in my craft section. I wanted to cover those little rigid ends because I didn't like them that good. So I just cut those paint sticks to size and then I painted them with the Waverly chalk paint in the color pink as well, which is just black. Um, I painted them in black because I thought that it would make it look a lot nicer. I went back and forth between doing it with white or the peacock color and I just decided to use the black and I thought it turned out looking really nice. And then here I am just showing how I sanded it. I just took a little sanding block from the Dollar Tree and just lightly ran it over, especially the areas that I may have put a little too much paint, uh, just because I wanted a nice blended look. Then I just took some hot glue and I lined those pieces of wood up with the edges so that 
they met to the end nice and flush and I put one on each end I thought that it gave it a nice little border Then I cut out the word home with my Cricut and I just found that pumpkin online and removed the background. The vinyl I bought from Walmart, I thought that it was pretty. It's almost like a buffalo check, but it's just, I guess, a little bit smaller, so I don't know if it would be called, maybe it's called gingham, I, I'm not real sure, but um, I really like the checks. And so I just took and stuck those down and peeled off the contact paper. Um, and it's kind of hard putting those in line, but I just kind of eyeballed it and tried to get it as straight as I could. I know you can cut them off or cut them out rather on the Cricut in a line and it would have been much easier, but I, I like to make things harder on myself apparently. So. Then I played around with the idea of putting these leaves on there, and I decided I didn't want to do that, so I pulled out the ribbons that I had from my stash, and I just wanted to make a nice little um, bunch of ribbon, so I just cut a bunch of different ribbons. Some ribbon came from the Dollar Tree, some came from a boutique, some came from Walmart. This ribbon's really from all over the place, so... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you if you want some of it you just look around and find some similar so I took a bunch of pieces of ribbon and cut them basically the same size and laid them on top of a pipe cleaner um, you can get pipe cleaners from the Dollar Tree too or you can get them from Walmart I think they're like 98 cents at Walmart so you just save a couple pennies but <laughs> um, after I got it all stuck together I just kind of cut me a little slit in the bigger one because it was kind of like bunching up and not going the way I wanted it to. So I went to the center of them and then I just gathered them up and tied that pipe cleaner in the back. And then once I got it all tied up, I began to dovetail the ends by just folding them over and cutting upward and making like a little triangle look on the end. It makes it look a lot more high end when you do that rather than just leaving the ends of them unfinished and I just did that to both sides and then I had a cute little uh, I'm not sure what it would be called but a little fluff of ribbon <laughs> and then I just fanned them out once I got it hot glued on there and took a little pine cone and stuck in the center and I thought this just gave it a little extra pizzazz and made it look real cute and I mean it suits my fancy so it's, I'm putting it on my porch and I thought it turned out really good and I, I really like the way this looks next I have this little outdoor sign that I got from the Dollar Tree I like the way it looks as it is but I got this little pumpkin sign from the Dollar Tree and I love the way it looks the way it is and I wanted to display it outside, but I didn't want to put it like on a wreath or anything. So I ended up taking those one, two pieces off and then hot gluing it to the stake. Um, you can put wood glue on there if you prefer and then just set something heavy on it and let it dry. But I'm, I'm just trying to hurry up and get it done because I don't like to sit and wait forever. So I hot glued mine on there. Um, so after I got it hot glued on there, I decided to make it a little more personalized and I took my sanding block and took the word home off of there. It's basically written on there with just glitter. That's how much glitter is on there and it makes a little bit of a mess whenever you sand it off. So I sanded it all off and then I took the color pumpkin in Waverly chalk paint and I just painted it over top of that and it really matched those pumpkins on the farm fresh sign really well um, so it worked out good
once I got it painted I thought that the brown steak looked a little odd with so much black and orange and stuff so I took some black and I just um, faint, like put it on there kind of dry brushed it and then wiped it with the paper towel just so it would look distressed instead of completely black and I of course had to do it to the little piece that was in between there as well this steps optional I mean it, it probably looked okay just brown but I wanted it to have a little black on it just so it matched a little better. Once that dried, I had cut out Miller using my Cricut with that same vinyl. And I'm just using this um, tape to transfer my letters because I didn't want to use the... Um, Cricut contact paper or whatever it's called transfer paper because it's like too sticky and I'm afraid to pull my paint up so I just use this um, tape and it works I mean it works fairly well so I lined it up where I wanted it and then I just stuck it down and peeled off the tape Then I grabbed my paintbrush with a little bit of black on it and just went all over the orange parts because I felt like it was a little too orange and I just wanted to kind of darken it up a little bit and I felt like that brought everything together more. And I really love the way this turned out and I was hoping to film the final results of these both outside but it was pouring the rain so I just popped this into my... Um, fern and I don't think I'll leave it there but that's that's all I have for right now so <laughs> this is what it looks like and my final result of my home sign I didn't get to prop it up on the porch but I did try to lay it down to where you could see it well and show you what it looks like and I think it turns out really cute and I can't wait to put it on my porch now if you're going to put these outside you want to make sure that you spray them with some kind of protective coat um, I haven't done that yet, but I plan to. And then here is the Miller sign. I think it's so cute, especially stuck into my fern. And I'm so happy with the way everything turned out today. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And happy crafting, y'all.